Hey everybody, Once B here. Welcome back to another episode of Dread Autosport. It has been quite a while since I did one of these. And we are now playing on a totally different track. We are, we are no longer playing on the Yas Marina circuit. So, like, from now on, it will be like every... Every, what's it called? Every three episodes will be on the same track, but different cars, and then the next three will be on a different track, different cars, you know, so on and so forth. So that's how it's going to go. So yeah, let's begin. We are playing on the Spa Franco Champs, is what it's called. We're going to use the Bugetti Veron. Yes, I know that's not what it's called, but... And let us begin. Oof. Cleaning my keyboard from the dust. Apparently there's a lot of dust inside this room, even though the window is closed. And somehow the dust still gets inside. I don't know where the dust comes from, but it does. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit when it finishes loading. Unless if it finishes loading as soon as I end the sentence. But then in that case, I'll not see you guys in a bit. I'll see you guys right now. There you go. Told you. Not off the green. Under 80. For the Bugatti, I'm going to use a uh, use a uh, third person view because because it might be a bit difficult to see from the inside. I mean, with with the Formula cars, you don't have restriction from the outside, so it really wouldn't matter in that case when you view it from first person. But from this one, you need to view it from third person from time to time. So yes, uh, the first lap as usual show you guys, the next few laps I'll not show you guys, unless if it was the fastest lap of the death of the century, which is not, this is not I mean, impossible since I can't even drive. P.S. I'm using a keyboard, so that's why it, it might be a bit difficult. Uh, okay. And yes, I did play this lap before, that's why you could. That's why you had seen the personal best previously. And it's still ahead of me. So, because I needed to practice on this track before I started playing. I asked so that I do not show you guys m just me just playing sucking human poopy. Not really, that'd be gross. I did not do that type of stuff, and that's just nasty, me, nasty. So, you yeah. Just full concentration mode, no one no. I mean, commenting over these types of races is a bit difficult because you need to put full concentration on this, on the, on the game. That is why when you see me playing the second or third lap, like, and I would get the fastest lap, and you see me playing it, I'd be like full concentration because because of that that uh, you need full concentration. You cannot not you cannot comment over this twenty four seven because if you do, that's what happens. But hey, I mean you could comment over it and uh, play pretty good. But I I I suck at racing, so yeah, this is really an excuse to do that. Yes, I know. Why did I break so much on that end? But hey, you can never be too careful. I mean, look at look at that curve, that 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 that, that twisty. You, you you can't go at full speed on that. Okay, so that is the first lap. I'll see you guys in the next fastest lap. I should be higher than plus seventeen point nine two. Yes.
fairness to that lap was the fastest. I highly doubt I'd get faster than that. And in the process, if you would have seen me playing this lap, I screwed the car over. Yeah. By crashing into the wall, head on. So this is the third lap. I highly doubt I'd be able to beat it. Be be beat me. Beat my lap that I had, uh, the time that I had set out. Which is still 33, 3.34 around, yeah. See, concentration does come into play when you're playing these types of races. Otherwise you'd crash like the personal best did. See ya. Oh, slow down and turn. Come on, I want to beat my Bolsonaro beast. Yeah, don't get into the grass. That is not real. Drifting is key as well. Sometimes. Depending on the track that you're driving on, then drifting is key. Yes, penalty, that is exactly what I needed. Because I did not get enough penalties in the last two laps. Yes, slow down. Oh god. Nope. I most definitely did not get better than the last lap. Okay. Looking at the iPad and I crashed. Okay. Note to self, do not look at the stupid iPad while, while, while racing. Okay, so I most definitely did not beat my lap that I had set out so yeah I'm going to end this one here so 234 was the time and now we are going to use another special car a car that hasn't been featured yet in any of the episodes so yeah I'll see you guys when we are picking that biggie place so 234 is the time that we need to beat and it's for 233994 that's the time we need to beat okay so I'll see you guys then Alright, and we are here, so it is from the Endurance Group, and the vehicle that we're going to use is, if it shows up itself, hopefully, and your teams know, this vehicle. This is the vehicle that we're going to use, yes. I know it might seem crazy, I mean, why am I using this vehicle? It, it seems highly capable of beating the Bugatti, but you never know, it... Yeah, I'm already hitting puberty. You never know, maybe it could beat it, maybe it can't. So there's 10% left in there. Itchy paired, so hopefully we could get this recording over with before my itchy paired days. Say, so, how are you guys doing? Good? Bad? Why bad? Please tell me more. Oh, okay. Well, I hope you have a good day. I'll add, or at least I hope this this video cheers you up. But yeah, the race is here, so have a good day and in continue enjoying the video. Yes. Alrighty. Two thirty three nine nine four. We have to try and beat it in three laps. Imagine if you could already like beat it like in the first lap. That'd be astonishing. I mean, not astonishing because this vehicle already seems quite capable of beating the Bugatti, considering that it has amazing braking, amazing acceleration, less weight. So I mean, this car has all the factors it needs to beat the Bugatti. 
So I guess, uh, but you never know, maybe we can't beat it in the first lap, but I mean, it would be really astonishing to see beat it like, in the very first lap. I mean, considering that we're already ahead of our personal best, and our personal best that was set on was 229. So, hmm, yeah, didn't think this one through now, did I? Oh, well, it is entertaining to watch regardless. Or is it? I do not know. At least I'm not crashing like I did with the Bogasi. Because that one had a lot of understeer. Its tail was sticking out a lot. And a lot of drifting was going on there. And then and it was heavy weight and braking was awful. So and there were a lot of factors in the Bogasi that I hated. So, I guess this has all the factors that, that makes me want to love this vehicle, even though it's, it's, it's probably not road legal, which I'm pretty sure it isn't. I highly doubt it's road legal. Uh, I don't know why I'm getting tongue-tied saying road legal. Very weird. Yeah, already a high possibility that we're going to beat it. Beat the Bujetti. Yes, I know that's not what it's called, but that's what I like to call it. That is the nickname for the Bugatti I give. I gave it. And it has 9 seconds. No, wait, no, never mind. 10 seconds to fail. Nope, never mind. We already beat it. Huh. So. Embarrassing for the Bugatti then, I guess. Yeah. Oh, well. I guess. I'll end this video very shortly and ab ab abruptly, I guess. Yeah. So, thanks so much for watching. And... Yeah, so that pretty much does it for today. Give this video a like if you enjoyed watching it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me. Like me on YouTube. My name is Hunzabi. Like my page on Facebook. It's Hunzabi. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. anyways to try and beat my personal best that I had set out drift 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 nope never mind but yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow then <laughs>